Delving into the actual studies, I'm just going to summarize as we, as we go along. And I want to start with, these are our Kiwi athletes, by the way. Um, I just want to summarize the, the endurance research. Um, what have we got? So I've categorized them into three key groups. The first group, this was in the late 70s, early 80s. The first series of studies was undertaken on endurance athletes where they would adopt a protocol where they would fat adapt the athletes between one and seven days, so put them on keto, and then the day before the exercise test, feed them up on carbohydrate and then make them perform. And what this group of studies found collectively was that, yes, there was an improvement in fat utilization or fat oxidation, but performance decreased, particularly at the point where the athletes um, were trying to get into their highest intensity or their top gear. The next series of studies uh, falls into the medium-term protocol. So then researchers said, right, well, let's fat adapt them for a little bit longer, so between 10 days and four weeks. And once again, we see improved fat utilization or oxidation, and it was a mixed effect on performance. And what I mean by mixed effects is that some of the studies showed that there was a performance increase in the low carbers relative to the high carbers, and some studies showed the opposite. And within the positive or negative studies, you would see um, quite a lot of individual variation in outcomes. So you could put a, a bottom line on that and say it's, it's mixed. In fact, we did a study, um, actually ours was a bit longer, and we found exactly the same our performance, uh, performance of our multi-sporters decreased. Then we get the longer term athletes. So, so researchers decided, right, well, let's try this protocol for longer than four weeks. So a range of studies have come through. And what we're finding is an improvement in fat utilization, so there's a pattern. Um, and we're also found, finding that there, in some cases, the power is increasing. So the ability to tap into the high intensity effort is improving. And what we're finding is that the low carb groups are showing an equal or positive effect relative to high carb.